So this is my third and final video on the uh, rotisserie. I um, uh, hope you guys like it um, so far. I uh, pretty much just did this out of my head. I didn't have any plans or anything, so there might be some things that you'd be able to take away from it. Uh, some things might not work for you, but uh, hopefully there's enough tidbits in there to help you out when you build your rotisserie for your uh, restoration project. Um, if you like my videos, uh, just make sure you uh, like and definitely subscribe. Hit that little um, bell on the top so that uh, you get uh, messages when I get new videos up. Uh, basically, this channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be restoring my Skylark. And I'm also going to be you know, doing odds and ends, stuff that I fix around the house. I'm kind of a jack of all trades. Uh, I don't know a lot about everything, but I know enough to get myself in trouble. So... Anyways, uh, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, give me any comments, um, any ideas. If you if you think there's something that could have been done easier or better, just let me know. Um, well, that's enough about me rambling. So here's the uh, last video. All right, now this is the piece here that goes on the bottom. It's the one with the two legs come out and the base. I'm going to cut these two legs off and I'm just going to keep the center section and cut it all the way around with the plasma cutter and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so I just cut those two legs off of here. So I just get this piece now by itself. Okay, so that's going to slide into there. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole here, through, through, through and out the other side and I'll put a bolt in there to join these two okay, pieces. So I'm going to go about two inches from this surface over center. And now I'll just go ahead and drill that hole out. And then I'll drill the same hole on the opposite side. Okay, so I just drilled the hole through here with this piece and the other side. So we're just going to slide that in. And this is the, uh, it's about, if you go from the edge of here down, it's three and seven eighths long bolt. Uh, it came with the kit for the, uh, the engine uh, hoist. That's gonna go through. Make the washer. I'm gonna make a support okay. for here, from, from here to, probably from here to here make some sort of extra support just to make this piece here a little stronger. So I'll do that next and then I'll come back. As soon as I as soon as I get it set up, I'll come back. All right, so now I'm gonna take this little square piece off, square two off of the uh, main frame from the uh, engine uh, stand and cut this out of here. I'm just gonna uh, use my angle uh, cutting wheel to cut it there, cut the weld, and then just pop this right off. And I'm trying to make the artistry setup just out of the engine hoist and the um, and the engine stand parts, if I can, without buying it. Okay, anything. so I cut the little block. Um, I'm just using it to hold this down now. Approximately two inches uh, square after I, uh, after I took it off of that main piece. Now this here is the side support bar for the uh, uh, engine uh, hoist. Uh, I'm going to cut off one end. I actually bent it this way, and I'll show you why later. But I'm going to, the uh, one end here, I'm going to cut off about uh, 11 and a half inches. Okay, so I started with a piece like this, which is that. 11 and a half inch I cut off of that side support. And what I did is I went on my vise and I bent it so that it would sit on the weld here, come across and sit on the front here. And that little block, two inch, I think it was two inch that I cut earlier, that sits in the middle. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna reinforce this section here so it'll be stronger. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and tack it all in, make sure it's all set and then I'll zip it and while the whole thing.
Okay, so that's tacked on. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it in. Okay, so this is one of the legs uh, for the uh, uh, engine hoist. Um, so what I did was, I marked the center, then I used the uh, piece of paper to make a template off of this piece here, which is the uh, the part where that um, uh, vertical piece goes up and bolts into. So I did this, I made a template there. And then I brought that over to here, found center, found center on the template. Uh, I, I notched that little hole there in the center. So that way I could just line up that to that line like that and then painted that up with a marker and then I just hit it with my uh, plasma cutter real quick to make a hole and now I did the same thing on the opposite side and I'm just going to use my plasma cutter and make a hole and that's going to give me my original style mounting for my uh, vertical piece that's going to go up and down um, Okay, so let me do that, and then I'm going to fold that together, and let's see what I can figure out next with all these pieces that I have here. I'm trying to go slow and think about it really good, because I want to be able to utilize the pieces as efficiently as possible, because there's a lot of things i got to take into consideration, and I don't want to have to buy any more metal if I don't have to. I'd rather, I'd rather keep it under the $300, which is what I'm hoping for. And I want to keep it, hopefully, in a way where I can actually dismantle it. I mean, I could put this whole thing up and just weld the whole thing as a one piece. But um, that's not really uh, efficient for me because I, I have limited space. So I want to be able to take this thing apart and, um, and store it if I have to. Okay, I'll bring you back as soon as I've uh, got my next little thing here accomplished. Okay, so I just, uh, I, uh, I cleaned up the burr. Um, I used a uh, rat's tail file just to uh, get them round enough for the bolt to go through. Because this thing look pretty. So I ran the bolts from the top down. So now the base is connected to this part here. And if you can picture it, it's upside down. The wheels are gonna go on this side and this side. Base is on there. So now, uh, I think I'm gonna get, uh, concentrate on the one that's gonna come from here, outward for forward stability. And I'll bring you back when I have an idea of what I'm gonna do with that. Okay, so the four holes for this side were already there. So I got this side on and what I did is I put this one over here and I marked it with my marker. Um, used my, my punch punch a hole, uh, uh, a little dot, uh, one eighth drill bit to get it started, and then I used my step drill bit, which I marked how deep I needed to go to get the four holes in, that way I can get the wheel on this side on. All right, so I'm gonna screw that one in, put it on the floor, square it up, and then I'll know where that T piece that's gonna go straight forward is gonna end up going and I'll decide how I'm gonna actually uh, secure that to the frame. Okay, so I got the front wheel on, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but um, what I did is I put this piece that we did earlier, uh, the two pieces that we made it together, centered them on here with that center line, and then took my square, and put it on both sides, Make sure it was square, make sure underneath is nice and tucked in. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tack it all up. Once I get it all tacked up, then I'll go ahead and I'll wall the whole Okay, thing. so I just made a simple plate here for reinforcement. I used that same piece that I got a piece of uh, metal before. Scrap piece. And... Uh, Basically what I'm going to do is, because I got the uh, 1 8 inch plate under bottom, I'm going to have this one on top, I'm going to weld this one in, 
and then that's going to be extra reinforcement when I tighten those up so they don't get sandwiched in and maybe cave this in a little bit. Okay, so I welded the two small plates in on both sides, and then I uh, tightened the four and a quarter inch bolts that came in with the um, that came in with the uh, engine hoist. On, um, I still have to on the other side. I still have to weld that section in, but I'm gonna put this in, in uh, standing up straight, and then put a level on it, make sure it's nice and square before I weld it in. But yeah, this is as far as we've gotten right now. So those are welded in. I also gave it another pass in here. So incorporated that into this structure to give it extra strength as well. Okay, so that is right on the money, it's level. So now, I've already adjusted this, but this is what I did. I put that level on this piece and then I pushed it a little bit out just to get it right in the center of that bubble. And now I'll weld this lower section in. Okay, so I just uh, dropped the bead right there. I have my level here. Make sure it was nice and square. And uh, I'm not gonna do the sides just yet because uh, I'll, t I'll do those when I when I take it back apart. So that that one's done there. Um, so we got this section done. Um, another thing I did was. Uh, this piece, this is the piece here that the jack uh, goes on to. So I, uh, I cut that off. I actually used my uh, right angle cutter with the cutter wheel on it. Um, that's going to end up being down here somewhere. Not sure exactly what I'm, where I'm going to put it, but, but um, it, putting it there would have made that jack way too tall. So I really wouldn't have had any adjustment on it at all. So getting it on here will be the okay, ideal thing. So now this is the piece that has the chain on the end of it uh, from the uh, hoist um, that, that uh, extends in and out. So what I did was I put that into the piece that I just welded earlier and it's flush on this side and I got it uh, up against the back wall here because I didn't weld across here. So I know for a fact that that's square. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a bead of weld all the way around here. Drop a bead of weld in in here. And uh, after that, we'll uh, be able to slide that into this portion here and see how she works. Okay, now this is the piece. That we cut off the side earlier and we're gonna fit right here about an inch and a half from the base around there inch and a half. Now what I'm going to do is weld it here, weld it on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, three and seven eighths inch uh, bolt that came in the kit for the um, for the 
engine uh, hoist. Uh, it says 8.8 .8 SCN. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm going to use that one for the bottom here. Okay, so I put in a three and a half inch bolt and then I squared it under there. And now what I'll do is I'll tack it on on both sides, take it out and then actually weld it nice and good. So I'll be back as soon as I get that. Back. Okay, so what I did was um, I cut a uh, piece off of this other support so it's going to be uh, three and a quarter by two and three quarters id Okay, so I drilled the holes on both sides, screwed that in, I clamped this up and I welded it all the way around. Um, I put a little piece here to compensate for the fact that this wasn't long enough. I also dropped a bead of weld on the edges here that I scarred earlier so that I could get those nice tight bends. Um, I put the, uh, the ram on and it's all set there uh, let's see what else did I do this is on of course you know I I went ahead and I put those in there earlier so that this doesn't get compressed into here and this piece is on so let me go ahead and put the cross brace uh, piece that bolts it's gonna bolt down to the uh, to the body of the car and then come okay, back so there it is now this is that piece I did earlier, of course, um, and I got the bolt going through to hold that in place. Now what I'm going to do is once I get the body off of the uh, frame, I'm going to put this under it. I'm going to line up where the holes are for the, for the body mounts in the front, and I'll just throw the hole out here and bolt this to the body mount. And this center piece here won't be in factor because the, uh, the center has a hump in it. So this won't touch, so it should be okay. I didn't even take into consideration the rear, so I'll have to look at the rear and see if that's gonna help struck. I hope not. But anyways, that's as far as I've gotten today. Um, this is that piece here that it's rolling on the, the bolt. So that's in a, about an eighth of an inch on this. So that way this rolls on, on that bolt instead of rolling, rolling on the edge of this. And I, I just tried that. That's working really well. Um, Got to do something here so that we can lock it. This is just a temporary lock that was on the uh, that was on the um, original jack stand, uh, engine stand. But it's not heavy duty enough for me. Um, so yeah, that's where I've gotten so far. Of course, these two bolts will adjust the tightness. Uh, let's see, I still got to put the, uh, here's the other one that I finished as well, as you can see, it's right on the money, that's nice, it's the other side, it's just a duplicate, but I put the, uh, the little holder there for the, uh, for the handle for the ram, so I got to do that to the other one as well, so they're both done, now it's just a question of, um, Getting the car off the, getting this thing off the body. Um, see, I just gonna, I got a lift under there somewhere, so it's a rotary. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take all the body mounts back off and lift it, lift this thing up, get it off the, uh, get it off the frame, and then I can wheel that under it and figure out where I need to do those those screws. And so it's getting close to me putting this thing on the. Uh, rotisserie and seeing if that rotisserie actually works. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, so I uh, put the car on uh, sawhorses 
and um, I put this under here. Uh, this is the frame, the center uh, brace. Put it in here, and I sprayed it with some white paint in there to get where line was going to be. I uh, drilled the hole with my step drill, and then I took my. Uh, this is the handle that came with the um, engine stand. And I cut two pieces off of it. I believe they're two and a half inches long. And what I'm going to do is those are going to slide in here. And then the bolt will come up from the bottom, up through here, in here with a washer. And that's going to be pinched together. And uh, I put these in here because um, that way it, it stops this from getting crushed when I tighten up the bolt. And I'm going to use... Uh, these bolts here that came with the kit. Okay, let me go ahead and mount that up and then I'll Okay, come back. so it is, it's hard to see, but it's bolted in there. And it's bolted in there. Got a big washer. It's all bolted in because I put, well, I don't know if you can see in there, but I put that spacer in there so it didn't crush it. It worked perfectly, nice and tight. Um, it's all set there. So, now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to, uh, get the back one going. Once I get the back one on, then, um, we'll see if this thing actually works. Thank you. 